Uh, okay, cool. So how do you feel about this? I don't know. I think I think I like it. Yeah, there. I just try to go for a different style, I guess, where I focused kind of more on instead of like blending the forms and really trying to make it look more um, realistic, photorealistic. I wanted to go for like a um, semi cell shaded style that still indicates gradients mm. and stuff like that. And then I try to copy Gen Z and just throw in random <sighs> little. How does she do that? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, she does that in the Hades art. Cool. Yeah, all right. So, yeah, and I know you want to go for a stylized look. The question is, you know, when you're zoomed in, it's it, it looks good. Uh, but when you're zoomed out, the read is still there, but it's not as strong as it could be um, in terms of simplification. Even though we're not going for fully realistic, we could still get the read to be more like that. So what I mean by that is like, if I look over here, all I would do really is say, okay, what are the shadow shapes and the value groups? So I'll actually just start with the, the light shapes. Um, and you could say that, I'm just gonna squint my eye. That's a very important value group. So is this and so is that. And you could almost say that if you put just shadow in the negative space of that, and then light in the positive space, it's a simplification of the form, but it reads really well when you zoom out. Now it does look creepy, and it you know it's like black and white, um, but that. Let's actually look at it like that. That simplicity is what I would recommend happen here. So how do we do that? Bring that up. Okay. So the, the problem being when I squint or look at it in black and white, the distinction is there, but it's not clearly delineated in, in, a, in a way that's effective. So let's bring that back to color. I'll probably just uh, make a copy of everything and make a light version. It's okay. And I'm actually going to map out specifically where I want the light to separate from the darks. So we have this whole bottom area, as we said. I'm just going to actually copy uh, this layout plan. Uh, not that one. Here, there, kind of like what you already have, but everything else should be way darker. So what I'm gonna do is just kick that way up. And then we're gonna change the shadow shapes to be way darker. And then in, afterwards we'll find some in between uh, meeting place that that's a good balance for what you're looking for okay so now when we zoom out it's a very clear and obvious read whereas before it's there but it's not kapow this is kapow um, and so like once you have that you can merge those two and lower the opacity a bit to kind of meet halfway with the original. Uh, so I guess uh, that's a long way to say, make sure the thumbnail read when you zoom out is, is clear and obvious, as as though it's like a little uh, head icon for World of Warcraft or Hearthstone or something, because they need to read pretty clearly when you're zoomed out. Um, I would actually take it a little bit further and do that same treatment, like on the bottom sides of the hair that might be catching light. Pretty much anything that's facing down. And it's like you already had that going, but the degree to which it was going wasn't as strong as it could be. Um, but again, find somewhere in between. And, and that's what I would do for that. And one final thing to add to that is, going back to the original, it's like you have this uh, triangle of interest of where 
really important stuff is is happening uh, in terms of detail and content. And within that, like you can subdivide and say, oh, well, not everything in there. But everything else does not need to have this kind of overlapping information. Pretty much saying blur it all out except for what's important. Uh, because, let's just go back to this. Use airbrush real quick. If we just simplify what's happening in all these areas, that brings way more attention to the mm -hmm. eyes, to the nose. Whereas this, it's trying to compete and take attention away from it. But this, it's allowing the focal points to breathe. Maybe even less. Okay, and um, a couple more things. Although I know you're saying you weren't trying to make it realistic, but I would pick a couple areas like the nose that are round and just round them off to have that spherical, cylindrical core shadow that will help kind of show form. You know, I would say start with that. And then if you still want to make it uh, chiseled like that Gen Z style, uh, then cut into it after the fact. Like this, so that you know the information is there. Uh, you just you just change it a little bit. Uh, so yeah, that's my main critique. Any questions? Not that I can think of right now. What if I have them later? Cool. I'll bring it up. Yeah, it's a fun piece, man. But yeah, the takeaway is simplify, <laughs> simplify okay. values, and then the uh, the busyness of stuff. Cool, fun Catch. stuff. I uh, keep going with it.